So let me just tell you what I'm hearing. I think perhaps you're not really um, uh, acknowledging fully the um, underlying risk that does exist out there. I think Dave made a really great comment, uh, two great comments that I think are what I see. You're going to speak later, and I think, look, there's a list of governments who are really concerned. They are really concerned. Some of them have uh, attitudes that you probably agree with. Some of them may not. But the reality is many of these governments have real concerns. They're concerned about viruses. They're concerned about malware. They're concerned about the scenario that Steve threw out for 2021 about a, a mysterious virus taking over the world and you know emptying the bank accounts of the private citizens, the elderly, governments, etc. Uh, I think this scenario, we're trying, we're looking at trends, we're trying to be provocative, we're trying to be a little extreme, but I think there are indicators there about real concerns that governments have about risk. You might not agree with the risk, but I think those are, and you have to remember that for the most part, not totally, some governments are learning new tools, right? But for the most part, governments have a limited number of tools, and particularly in Africa and in the Mideast, they have a limited number of tools. So, you know, is the scenario avoidable maybe one thing, but is it happening right now? Are we at the sort of mini quake in the ocean in some aspects about concerns about malware or viruses or um, scams, those kinds of things. Or